Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Today we are talking about something that we have talked about a lot on the show, which is how our society and our media just pushes sex and sexuality so hard these days. And the demographic for that sex and sexuality keeps getting younger and younger, which is the real problematic problem. I don't like it, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. From the education system to social media to porn consumption, it truly is everywhere. But per a recent study, young adults in America might not be as interested in it as people assume. And we're going to talk about that today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. All right, so this all came out last week when a certain study went viral. Variety posted about it, and they said young people ages 10 to 24 are looking for less sex scenes in television and in movies, according according to a new UCLA study. 51.5% of adolescents would like to see more content depicting friendships and platonic relationships, which is not at all what you would expect. Like people look at Gen Z and they think, oh, degenerate behavior, these crazy youths, the teens, they're all out there. They think of shows like Euphoria and Idol on HBO and they think, oh, they must love this. We don't really, we don't love it. It's pushed on us. And that's just kind of what we've been offered. But most people that I know aren't actually interested in that. And the comments agreed. Somebody said, yep, completely agreed. They are entirely unnecessary. Something that we often say is the industry is that you just, you know, you can just fall out of screen. You know, you, you give the illusion, oh, it's about to happen. Oh, a tasteful, you know, fall out of the camera, move on. You don't need to see it. Another person said, I agree. Sex scenes are unnecessary. Now, amongst the replies was, of course, Matt Walsh, who was talking about this. And he brought up a very good point that even I totally glossed over because I was like, look at Gen Z. This is so great. Totally missed this part of the study. And he replied and said, also, why are they surveying 10 year olds for this? Do you go back to the original tweet? 10 to 24. That is a wild age range. Like, I get that they're trying to survey Gen Z, but asking 10 year olds about sex scenes, my jaw dropped. And of course, this set people off. Somebody said, if 10 year olds can affirm their gender, surely they can have an opinion on sex scenes in movies which is sadly very true. Somebody else said, I had to do a double take there. Asking 10 year olds if you're okay with watching sex scenes is wild. When I was 10, all I cared about were Saturday morning cartoons, which Benke has brought back, guys. If you want to get it, you can get Benke. It's chilla time. Never thought about it and I had no clue what it was. But of course, that is not the world that we live in now. They are able to ask children these types of questions because of the things that 10 year olds are exposed to today. So I shouldn't even be surprised that the academics did the survey in this manner with 10 year olds when this is literally being taught in our government schools. That is the new normal. Another person commented and said, because they don't view sex as about creating a family. They only see it as entertainment. So it does not occur to them that it is wrong to have it with children. They recognize that only conservatives, especially religious ones, oppose sex with kids. They don't understand why. Sad, but true. But then, interestingly, you get into the article and you read the details about the report and they sing a totally different tune. It was important to them to note that even though they said they surveyed 10-year-olds, that they had that 10 to 24 gap, they actually only asked 13-year-olds about these sexual topics. So then why did you promote your survey by saying that you surveyed 10-year-olds about sex scenes. The whole thing is just very weird, but here's what they said. While 1,500 young people were surveyed for the full report with 100 participants from each age bracket from 10 to 24, only 13 to 24 year olds were asked about topics relating to sex and romance. So at least that's a win because a 10 year old and a 13 year old are developmentally very, very different. And even though I don't even think you should be asking 13 year olds about sex, they are technically a teenager that makes a little more sense than asking a 10 year old about sex. Now, I personally obviously agree with the results of this study because I think that sex scenes have gotten absolutely out of hand in Hollywood. They are frequent, they are graphic and unnecessary to the plot usually. So the fact that my generation and I can agree on this is incredibly positive in my book. Just to put it simply, we are done with the slapping of meat unless it is the sound of a good rancher steak hitting the grill. Now there's a lot of steak this November, so do not be chicken and shop at the grocery store like usual. Instead, head over to Good Ranchers. Their Black Friday Your Way sale is already live and it is something that you do not want to miss. They have great meat puns, but they have even better meat. This November, you get to pick your favorite meat to get free for a year. You can pick a free year of steak, salmon, chicken, or bacon when you subscribe to any box right now. And better yet, when you subscribe to any box on GoodRanchers.com, you will not only get a free year of meat of your choosing worth up to $480, but you will also get $15 off with code COOPER. The only big deal your grocery store has is on expiring food. So ditch the meat aisle and subscribe at GoodRanchers.com today. To claim your year of free meat, $15 off, and free shipping, go to GoodRanchers.com and use my code COOPER at checkout. Again, that's promo code COOPER at GoodRanchers.com so that you can skip all of that nasty, grotesque grocery store meat. But anyway, back to the report. They brought up a few of the shows that most normal people across the world have found absolutely grotesque and, in my opinion, have probably spurred some of these anti 
sex scenes attitudes like Euphoria and The Idol, which are both from HBO. And then they brought up a quote from actor and singer Olivia Rodrigo. This is a quote that she gave in an article recently. And they were asking her about whether she was interested in seeing Euphoria or Idol. And she said, I don't have the desire to. I remember walking out of Barbie and being like, wow, it's so long since I've seen a movie that is female centered in a way that isn't sexual or about her pain or her being traumatized. And I don't even think that we need to boil it down to being female centered. I would just say a movie or show that's directed at young adults and very culturally relevant. Like it's just been a while since we've seen a project like that that is not super sex fueled, unlike HBO's Euphoria, which by the way, one writer called a pornographic after school special with no goal other than to desensitize its audience. And I could not agree more. And this is not what young people want to see anymore. Like not everything needs to be over sexualized. We're done with that. And I think in a way we have been desensitized to all the sex. So now everything just looks and feels fake and disingenuous. And we know that they are only doing it for the shock value. Like it is so blatantly clear because it often has no connection to the plot and literally does not do anything for the characters. We see through it and we want something that is more real like friendship and platonic relationships. Like that is what we are missing because it's been so long since we've just seen anything like that. And I would say that we can absolutely connect this to the decline in hookup culture with Gen Z. We talked about this a lot more back in 2022, but here's a headline to jog your memory. Hinge survey says that Gen Z is over hookup culture post COVID. And this article went on to say farewell to hookup culture. And they're talking about finding the right person. And overwhelmingly, they said that the right person would be somebody with whom they share a deeper connection. Over half of Hinge users reported that their relationship goals had changed since the pandemic. They are now looking for a long-term serious relationship. And all of this is very consistent with what we're seeing. Like Gen Z has a lot of problems. I am the first to say that. I know we have our issues, but on a whole, we are searching for real meaningful connections, whether that is romantic or not. I think that we have been totally numbed by the digital age and over-sexualization and poor socialization even before COVID, before being locked in our homes. And it has obviously taken a toll on us. So I admire my generation for being self-aware and admitting that what we're seeing is just not working. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.